Police say they're already looking into capital murder charges against the alleged gunman. ABC's Kira Phillips is in Washington with that part of the story and what we're learning about the suspect. Kira, good morning. Good morning, Witt. Well, witnesses described the gunman as walking towards the Walmart calmly and confidently as if on a mission. And now investigators are working to determine, as you know, what motivation was driving that mission. It's unclear if he's cooperating with law enforcement right now, but authorities say that the interview process is still ongoing and that they're searching his house and social media history for answers. As you've heard earlier, sources are telling us that his goal was to, quote, shoot as many Mexicans as possible. So the possibility with that this massacre was racially motivated certainly is a leading theory for investigators right now. And Kira, you're learning more about reports of a document linked to the killer that expressed anti-immigrant views. Right. And uh, the El Paso police chief is saying that investigators are looking into what he is calling a manifesto. And it's believed to have been written by the shooter, Witt, saying that it shows a possible nexus to a hate crime. That document expressing fear that white voters in the U.S. will be replaced by Hispanics. The FBI is currently reviewing evidence right now to determine whether this massacre, massacre can actually be classified as a hate crime or or domestic terror attack and whether to move forward with federal charges. All right, Kira Phillips for us in Washington. Thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.